So question, what's better than a 700 yellow fin? Two. That's the only answer. Have a look at this. So let's have a look. What we've got is we've got the cabin and we've got the walk around, right? Let's just have a look at them because I was uh, up here in the storage yard. These two boats are going out and I thought, let's just have a look at them because very rarely do you see both. And they're both set up by serious, serious fishermen. So we'll start up at the front. They both have the same alloy, yellow fin trailer, catch and releases like we put on them all. Right, they're a, uh, can't see it, eyes aren't any good. How big is it? Yeah, 27.50. Land cruisers, patrols, all of that stuff can tow it. We got the Minn Kota Instinct. And what it does is, is an auto deploy, it's 115. It's got drift control and uh, it's another level. And up here, it's interesting, in Victoria, you people don't use Minn Kotas. I can't work yous out. Up here, it's a whole style of fishing. Coming down this side, and just show down the side, Sarah, while I get something. Go down there and have a look. And what we are, what we've got here, solid. Okay, so see this bit here? There, that. Have a look how this is welded. So we're six mil, four mil, high tensile. Then we have this extrusion that goes in that's fully welded, pulse welded, either side. Same down in the gunnel, right? That's why they're strong. Mag wheels, 320 litres. That's awesome, isn't it? Back here, paint's awesome. Got the stripe, you can have a couple of colours. Zip weights, burly bucket. Of course, self-draining decks. This has got the 250 on it, Yamaha. Normal one with hydraulic steering, bait board, live bait tank. Round here, Sarah, comes through. Dive style ladder. Nice. Let's go inside. Couple of handles here. Easy for a big fat old bloke like me to get in. Welded in cleats. You know? Awesome transom door, and I've shown you those before. Just a thing of beauty, don't rattle, don't make any noise. Battery isolation switch there. What we call the bait station that comes in them. All your tackle boxes, storage for lures, bait board that goes in here for cutting, holders or sinkers, or you put a live uh, bait in there, dead bait while you're skipping and switching, rod holders. Now, we've got these beautiful floors, storage, fridge goes under there, bolster style seats, more storage underneath, foot wells, Garmin, you know, phone chargers, that uh, compass. How come boats don't have a compass? How do people go fishing without a compass? I don't know, because I just set a bearing and then I go off the compass. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just me and every professional fisherman, but that's how you do it. So great big compass, good storage here, drink holder in there, that's ingenious. You know, that is ingenious actually. More storage, glove box, bunk infill. I wonder if this has got a toilet. In here, just bob in, don't get in here, we don't want your boyfriend talking, have a look around here. So, this opens up, you've got this area here, storage, charts and stuff. See, you put charts if you, or you could smuggle, you know. Over here, there's a charging port for your phone, and these are your bilge pumps. So if you're sleeping at night and you think, oh, it's raining, on goes your bilge pump. It's just those little things that we're doing here that make the difference. Side combings, big window. You know, seven metre boat, big fat old bloke can stand it. Like I said, I'm six foot four, I can stand up in here. Bolster seats, could stand, because you know, if you're going out standing, 
put the seat down. You've got these foot wells. They really, really are a polished boat, aren't they? You know, everywhere where you look, everything's just right. Radios, gauges, fuel filter, live bait tank, access, self-draining decks. Beautiful boat. Let's have a look at that one. So the center cab, the same Minn Kota setup, just wonderful. Catch and release, doesn't have the anchor winch because he's gonna min -co he's gonna do a lot of pelagics, a lot of trawling, outriggers off the top there, there we've built support so you can do that. Black on black on black, just like a pirate. This is beautiful, isn't it? Down the side, geez, that paint's nice. I really like that. Then, let's have a look inside. So this one, on the transom, they're pretty the same, wake, zip weights, burly buckets. This one's got a 225 on it. A Yamaha V6 stuff is another level of motor. Big dive style ladder again, transom door, all that same fit out that we use. This has got the checker floors. Center cabin. Normally how it comes about is people want a center console but then they want cover. Then they look at a cabin boat and they say they want to walk around. Well, the center cab. And these are a wonderful, wonderful example of how a center cab can work. Lots of cockpit space. Hardcore floor, uh, all welded in, self-draining scuppers. Big esky underneath the seat, back to front seats. Huge amounts to walk around, non-slip. Walk around, get to the Minn Kota, not the have to, it's self-deploy. Fish, anchor, casting. You can just get a lot of people into here. Big area, handles to hold. Yet you've still got the cabin. You put a toilet in there. My kids could sleep in there. My wife would drink for Chardonnay and probably pass out in there. You lock all your stuff up if you're on a marina or a berth there. It's at the back of your house. You know, you can just put everything in there, lock it away, easy to get into and walk around. Big space on the deck, windscreen washers. Once you get a windscreen washer, you'll never go back. It's like air conditioning in a car. You know, Bimini, Yamaha controls, trim assist, auto starts, zip weights, drink holders, handles, spotlights. Have a look at this fuse panel. You know, with the fusion stereo up there, lighting, you got the tunes going, your mates, you're having a few drinks, you've got a deck wash, that one has a deck wash too. Live bait tank, easy to get into the dual batteries and all that beautiful work. What hasn't this boat got? I'd put outriggers, and like I said, they've made um, strengthening in the top so you could put outriggers on it. This is a wonderful, wonderful boat. Now this is going out, these are both sole boats. Um, and they're going out today and tomorrow. But we've got another Santa Cab. We're the only people in Australia that stock Santa Cabs. And we sell lots of them because we do them right. If you're looking for a big boat, big true offshore boat, give Brisbane Yamaha a call. 3888 1727. Black on black on black, just like a pirate.